Hey guys, it's me, Thomas. I just got back from a crazy witch hunt. I was just flying with Laura, Manny, David, here for the tea, and we all were flying together because we're all best friends, and we were on a wild witch hunt, and we were trying to give you guys the craziest tea ever. Uh, So, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just, had to, I just had to tweet and delete some things, guys. <laughs> so guys, get this. I'm making a video today, and let me just start off by saying, it's 100% about racism. It's about how horrible the world is. This video by no means is about I'm not going to even say his name. This video is not tearing down anyone specific. I am not going to say his name. This video is to talk about everything wrong in the world. The Salem witch trials are an example of a witch hunt. And sadly, there have been many witch hunts since 1692 in Salem. At the museum, we offer a formula for a witch hunt, fear, plus trigger equals scapegoat. And to explain it, if there is a prevailing fear in society, if everybody is worried about a particular uh, factor, and then an event takes place to make that fear grow, very often people look around for somebody or a group of people to blame, to scapegoat. trying to get revenge on him was kind of like petty and childish and like honestly all I was doing was trying to gain his trust so I could fuck him over and do like some evil shit that he does to everyone else and like just so he knows what, a, what the fuck it feels like and I don't know I know I was playing with fire and I knew I ran my mouth too much and like you know I did tell him that like I saw you and all that stuff, and like obviously that was none of his business. But I wanted him to feel like he could trust me, so I could get in there, get information, and I can take that information, and tell you that information. So I don't know. I it, in my mind, I was doing the right thing, but also I know that I was just being an idiot, and that's why I stopped, and I'm not talking to him anymore. But I also just know that like he's fucking awful, and I wish I could say so much. But I don't want to be put into it and then here for the tea tries to bring me down because she is so far up his fucking ass. Like, I just don't know. Because, like, I don't know if I can, if I could bounce back from, like, I don't know. I'm just, that's the fuck out. This is not your stuff. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. Um, I won't say anything. I just wanted to get your permission first. I just wanted to run it by you first so you're not, like, dumbfounded when I, like, sit up there and talk about any of that stuff. I, I, I want to sit there and do a live stream talking about it, talking about the time that I went to your house and all that stuff. I don't know. Maybe I should just wait. Whoa, 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 uh, uh. Cause I'm a fuck up and I'm so What's up, bitches? It's Messy Mark, the messiest bitch on YouTube. And guys, I am coming at you tonight to give you guys a PSA. This is a warning, a public service announcement for everybody. I'm going to say this one time. Fuck Thomas. I cannot take this Thomas kid. I don't even know how the fuck he is relevant. I don't know why I'm sitting here wasting my Sunday night talking about this bullshit. 
And I wanted to be a drama channel that presented like both facts and just kind of was unbiased. But if you guys know me, you know that I've been following Jeffree Star for so long and I just see like weird patterns um, in his friendships uh, recently um, within the course of like a year or so. And I just want to say that by far this is the worst thing that a, another beauty influencer has done to him and Thomas will never ever be able to come back from this one and I'm gonna tell you why Thomas not only did you make crazy alle allegations about serious like topics like not just like trivial shit not like oh he said this she said this about so-and-so this is you saying that he is a racist which is a serious allegation especially with everything going on in the world and you want to put those allegations against his name for fucking click bait this is not about you being a social justice warrior. This is about you taking down Jeffree Star. So stop hiding behind racism and say why you're really on YouTube talking shit about Jeffree. You are so fucking shook. Your management doesn't know what to do. Your PR does not know what to do. Your mom doesn't know what to tell you. You're flipping a fucking shit. And Jeffree, I just want to say I'm really proud of you. And I want to say this, I know you had to come down to such a low level, but it honestly had to be said, I'm sick of these allegations coming out against people and people scared not to say anything. So Jeffrey, you did what you had to do. This wasn't just like, oh, you know, yada, 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 Jeffrey, you know, puts out shitty makeup. This was like real shit. Like Jeffrey Star is a racist behind the scenes and he's trying to say that Jeffrey Star has video footage and audio in his house 24 7 like ah, just shut the fuck up like it's oh this Thomas kid was reaching so hard and he had so many other motives and it really didn't have to be like that like I'm not a fucking beauty influencer I'm not a beauty guru but if I was in Jeffree Star's house fuck everybody else like that is literally the king I'd be fucking embracing absorbing everything I could but you were fucking on your phone talking to fucking Manny and Laura, David and whoever, just trying to be shady. Like, don't be shady, be a fucking lady. And that's exactly what you did not do. I felt so bad for Jeffrey because you want to make friends, you have a great personality, you have all these things going for you, you're successful, but people come into, you know, your life for alternative reasons and alternative motives and it sucks and um, this happens a lot in the world, just not the beauty community. So I just want to say this. I want to say um, we have nothing but respect for our president, Jeffree Star, on the Messy Mark channel. And Thomas, you're, you're going to have, you're going to need a fucking mop. You're going to fucking need 20 PR people. You're going to need something to fucking clean up this fucking mess that you fucking created. So guys, on that note, keep your friend circle tight. Don't open up to people that might have alternative motives. And um, yeah, always use protection and you know, just stay safe, stay safe in the streets, you know, and be careful who you, just, who you subscribe to on YouTube because there's a lot of snakes in this community. And I really wanted to come on here and not be biased, but guys, I could not help it. So, Thomas, if you're watching,